Hi guys, welcome back to the Library of Alexandria. And today, guys, today is my August TBR. I know I probably should have done this, you know, five days ago, but better late than never, right? So these are going to be the books that I read in the month of August, and I'm going to do kind of a weird thing here in August because July was not the month that it should have been. And that's a good thing because uh, I went on vacation. My wife and I took an early anniversary uh, trip. We actually just had our anniversary two days ago, Tuesday of this week. So yeah, two days ago. It was our second wedding anniversary. And so we took an, uh, we took an early trip out to Ohio to go to Cedar Point because we both love roller coasters and neither of us have ever, have ever been. And it was super fun. And right after that, as I have told you, my buddy Finn was in town uh, and he was here for two weeks. So I didn't get a ton of reading done, but it's okay because I was doing like, you know, real life things with, with people who are actually <laughs> present in my house. Uh, but it put me way behind on some obligations. So what this month and next month really are gonna be used for is trying to catch up. And unfortunately, that means I've had to delay continuing a series that I really wanted to read, which was the Dagger and Coin. I really wanna continue the Dagger and Coin series by Daniel Abraham, but I'm gonna have to kind of put it on backlog while I finish these early obligations uh, that I've had over the last uh, several months. So without wasting any more time, let's get down to business. Let's talk about the books that I plan on reading in August. So first up, we have Boosh. The Empire of Black and Gold by Adrian Tchaikovsky. And this is the first book in the Shadow of the Apt series. And if you've been paying attention, uh, this month starts August of the Apt, the new read-along over on uh, the Library of Alexandria Discord bef uh, the, for the last five months. Really, we didn't do anything in July, but for the five months prior to that, starting in February, we read uh, the Red Rising series and had live shows on each one, and it was a blast. It was super fun, and so this month, uh, starting in August, we're going to be reading the first four books of the Shadow of the Apt series. Now, it is a 10-book series, but the first four books form kind of a complete arc, so it is a place that you could stop if you wanted to. And so we'll be doing one each month and we'll have live shows at the end of the month or at the beginning of the following month for each of those books. It's super fun. People are already talking about it. There's a lot of activity over in the in the, the Discord channels about this book and I think people are really enjoying it. Uh, so the premise of this is humanity kind of evolved alongside insects and so these, these races of humans called Kinden uh, take on some kind of traits from in particular insect species. And there's, it's kind of like Flintlock, but without being Flintlock, there's like this industrial, this post-industrial kind of level of technology. Um, there are some airships, but there's also some magic. And it's supposed to have really good characters, some really good military stuff. Uh, war takes place. Uh, the, I think the main character is uh, a spy who is who sees war coming and is trying to kind of warn everybody. I am super excited to read it. I don't know who's going to be on the live show yet. I don't know when the live show is going to be, but there definitely will be one. And this is one of the ones that I'm most excited to read and talk about this month. If you still want to join up with us, you're welcome on the Discord to come talk about it. You can just read along uh, at home, join us in the live show, whatever. But we're super excited to start August of the Apt with this beastie. Next on the list, we have Boosh, The Dark That Dwells by Matt Digman and Ryan Roddy. So this is actually a self-published novel and it is the August pick for the Shelf Space Book Club. And at the end of the month, Ryan and Kristen from Seeking Stories will be joining me and we will be talking about this book. Now, this is a kind of space opera book. It is science fiction and it stars a merc, a soldier, a kind of z zealot priest who I haven't even started reading, but will be my favorite because I like, I like zealots in books. They're just always so zealous, right? And then there's, there's a young caster. And so there's four POVs. Uh, the, the, the production quality on this book is fantastic. Like it was sent to me in like, you know, look how purple it is. There's like purple, like, uh, you know, grass, not grass, but like package grass, if you will. And they have decals, like stickers for each of the, each of the, the page breaks. Um, the, the, the paragraph breaks are marked with the symbol of um, either the outgoing character or the incoming character. And they have stickers of those. Oh, and they, ha they have pins. Like, there's a lot of awesome production quality that's gone into this. I know my buddy Sam and Leslie from The Nerdy Narrative have both read this, and they both really loved it. I am super excited uh, to read this. Matt and Ryan are both ER doctors by day and writers by night and they just moved and just had a baby man 
They are busy folks, and I have no idea how they find time in their lives to actually write this. And it's the first in a series, so they're already working on the sequel. It's they are super nice people. Uh, they actually have their own their own booktube channel where they talk about kind of like medical stuff in uh, in writing, and they've also talked about their their kind of journey into the self publishing process. So you should definitely go check that out. I'll link them down below. Uh, but I'm really excited to read this. I've heard really nothing but good things about it, and I like space opera. I just finished a couple, you know, last month playing Mass Effect, and anything that's going to scratch that Mass Effect itch uh, is, is good in my book. So join us at the end of the month. Um, you can join us reading this over at the Shelf Space Book Club. Shelf Space Discord is linked down below in the description. And I'll be talking to Ryan and Kristen about this book at the end of the month. So next on the list is yet another obligation that I agree to, and you know, that's not a bad thing, like I enjoy doing it, is Boosh, A Time of Blood by John Gwynn. This is book two in the Of Blood and Bone uh, series, the second series in the Banished Lands, and I actually really enjoyed book one. I think I enjoyed book one of this series more than even of The Faithful and the Fallen. It's, it's a much narrower focus. Uh, there's a lot more horror elements. Uh, it's just, it hits a lot of, it checks a lot of boxes that I really like. Uh, I can't really talk too much about it because of uh, because of spoilers, but we had a discussion on Alex's channel about Time of Dread, and it was me, Philip, Patrick, Alex, Abby, Jimmy, and Sarah. Yeah, there were seven of us. It was it was all of us, and we had a big conversation about uh, about Time of Dread over on Alex's channel, so you can check out that discussion there um, if you haven't. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, at the end of the month, we will be having yet another um, discussion with all seven of us, and I think this will be on, it'll be on either Jimmy or Sarah's channel. Uh, we don't really... Don't really. I, I've forgotten which that we decided, but but I've forgotten. So make sure you look out for that. The first book was the first novel in a series, and John Gwynn really starts hitting that stride, and as the plot begins rolling, rolling. So I've heard that it really picks up from here, and I've heard the third book, Time of Courage, is maybe the best book that he's written. Period. And so I am super pumped. Uh, to get there. And so that'll be fun, and it's not super long, and it doesn't take me super long to read a John Gwynn book, which is fantastic. Now, the other obligation that I have is Boosh, The Winter King by Bernard Cornwell. And this is the first in his Warlord Chronicles, which I have heard is hailed as pretty much the best Arthur fiction that there is. In this series, uh, Cornwell tells us this story from the perspective of someone who was in Arthur's army, Arthur the Warlord, in Saxon Britain. And apparently it's just a super, like, grim, gritty retelling. And I have, I have heard, I know the Brothers Gwyn love this series. I know a bunch of people that love this series. The Brothers Gwyn told me how terrible Lancelot is. In it, and I already hate Lancelot. Like, Lancelot is one of my least favorite characters in anything. In fact, he ruins, like, every freaking... Uh, Arthurian adaptation, except for except for Holy Grail, and that's just because he's played by John Cleese. <laughs> but otherwise, I despise Lancelot, and I've heard that this is the most despicable portrayal of Lancelot in any Arthurian retelling ever. And so, I'm both excited and not excited to read that. Uh, I'm super excited because it'll give me even more ammunition to throw at Lancelot. And I'm not excited because ugh, I don't want to read about that douchebag, man. Uh, but I'm really excited to read this. This was actually my patron uh, pick uh, for August. So in uh, in my Patreon, I let my patrons put uh, books on. They, they suggest books to me that they, want to, that they want me to read. I put those all on a wheel. And then every other month, this is what I've just started doing. Every other month, I spin the wheel and whatever pops up, that will be what I read and, you know, and then they can read it with me if they want or I'll just discuss it here and um, in, in the patron chat. Uh, this book was actually suggested by uh, my patron Chris T and she actually sent me the series uh, not at all with ulterior motives, just, you know, just out of the goodness of her heart. But, I mean, thank you. And I'm super excited to read this. I've been, this has been on my list for a while. As you know, I love Cornwell's Sharp series, so I already am a huge fan of Cornwell as an author. I've been told by many that this is his best work, even more than Sharp, even more than the, uh, what's the series, the, the Last Kingdom books that, uh, that the show is based on. So, I'm hoping I'll be able to get to that as well. Now, what follows are going to be the obligations that I've wanted to read or said I was going to read and haven't gotten to yet. And so September will come with more obligation books that I have to read for, you know, book clubs and 
uh, and Buddy Reads that I've committed to, but any of these other books that I don't get to will also roll into it. So there are several, and I don't know which of these I'm going to read. I have to finish the ones I just talked about. In addition, I still need to finish Blackwing and The Diabolic. Now, if you remember last month, I was given these books to read by my nemesis, Leanna, and I these are short books. I should have had no problem getting through them, but unfortunately, again, my July happened, it was super busy, and I wasn't able to. So we are kind of postponing the show where I go on her channel and talk about the, the books she assigned me until I actually finish them. But these are high priority to finish this month because, you know, I said I was going to read them and I have not yet. In addition, I still have my last patron read, which was Tagana, which a bunch of people loved, and I am loving it also. It is excellent. But I just ran out of time and I've been so uh, heaped up with other obligations that I just not have been able to finish Tagana. I'm more than halfway done um, and I'm hoping to continue to make progress on it and finish it because it is an excellent book. I also need to read Six of Crows, my punishment book for losing. What challenge did I lose uh, that I had to do that? What was that? It was, oh, the first line challenge and I lost on frickin' Foundry Side. That's depressing. So I still have to read Six for Crows, uh, Six for Crows, Six of Crows. So those of you who are waiting for me to read and vlog that, it's coming. I'm gonna, I just gotta find a place to read it. I am reading it, worry not, I haven't forgotten. In addition, I need to finally finish Boosh, the Mistborn series by reading Hero of Ages. I finished Well of Ascension back in April, I think, and I still haven't read Hero of Ages. So I gotta get on that to actually finish my first freaking Sanderson novel. And the thing is, I loved Well of Ascension. It's just, this book's too freaking long. It's 800 pages, so it's hard to kind of work it in when I've got all these other things that I need to be reading. In addition, I want to read Thud. I was on the uh, uh, on the schedule of reading a, a City Watch book, a Discworld book, every other month. I haven't read one for like three months. I think I read Night Watch in May, and it is now August, and I haven't read Thud. So I definitely want to read that. In addition, I will definitely be reading the next uh, Brian McClellan uh, novella, because all of the novellas take place before uh, the Powder Mage trilogy. And if you haven't been listening, myself and my friend Angela are on a quest for the best of Flintlock. A bunch of you guys want to join join us on that journey. That's awesome. So we won't read our first novel in that genre, genre. really until next month, but I am definitely trying to read one of the Powder Mage novellas every month because even though I'm not the biggest fan of Powder Mage, I need to have read Powder Mage in order to speak as an authority on the genre, genre. as a whole. So um, this month's novella will be Forsworn. It has a female main character, so that'll be interesting. And I think it's... Um, I think the main character is one of the other nation, like not this, the, the first novella was about Tomas, but I think this is a, a lady from the other country, I think. I th is it, is it Daniel's mom? I don't know. I'll have a report on it in my wrap up, just like I'll have a report on the last one in that wrap up. So guys, that's a ton of books. I just need to dig myself out of this hole that I've made for myself. I'm trying to kind of, like free myself of obligations after um, you know after the next the next few months uh, that I have I'm trying to take on less because uh, you know I can't read a ton during the school year and usually I can read way more in the summer but this summer just kind of didn't pan out for that so I just need to dig myself out of this hole and so I'm gonna spend the next couple months trying to do that and then I can uh, continue to delve into new series and and all that kind of stuff so if you have any preference on which ones you'd rather me prioritize of the the little pool that you know, I can choose from. By all means, tell me down there in the comments. Let me know what you plan on reading in August. Let me know if you're if you're joining us for any of these any of these reads, whether it be Empire in Black and Gold or The Dark That Dwells. Guys, that's it for me. As always, information about my Discord and Patreon is down in the description, and I'll see you next time, guys.